enters with a bad PowerPoint animation effect. Here comes the money! Hello. Stretching isn't enough. I need to be able to disassemble my body like Legos. Brain? Why, why, why do we want a chicken and cheese quesadilla from Taco Bell? We, we do not like the chicken and cheese quesadilla from Taco Bell. What was wrong with you? I think I can actually answer that. Um, it's weird to say, but I believe that is your body's way of telling you that you need sodium. And what better source than a fast food joint? I will read Dungeon Meshi at an appropriate pace, I thought. It has been two days, and I am at chapter 80. How did this happen? I mean, to be fair, it's, it's got like everything. It's got food, it's got anime, it's got monsters, it's got pro ZD, it's got lesbians. What was that last part? Pro ZD? Okay. I am so glad Goncharov happened when it did. Right before prolific public use of AI. That was pure on his gaslighting straight from the heart. Real human whimsicality and trickery through blood, sweat, and tears. We were a family. And we all gunched together. You can't replace that with any machine. I didn't even like the Guncharov meme, and I agree with this. Please enjoy these photos of cows that have been shampooed and blow-dried because I didn't realize this was even possible until today. <sighs> oh my god, look at them. They're perfect. The spit take I just did. The menacing aura that is Barack Obama. Well, uh, this is your last chance. If you, uh, don't do the next Mega Mega Binge, I'm, uh, I'm gonna end you. Reminder, you belong to this world. You are made by it and will return to it once your time has come. Live your life. It is yours. Enjoy your time. We all belong here. We all love and hate and die. Make it matter. Be kind. Math is really tiring. I'm so glad I finally get to relax and do some knitting and crochet and I- Oh god, oh my god, what the fuck?! Before you start knitting slash crochet, you have to ask yourself, Do I know how to count? And more importantly, am I ready to come to terms with the answer? Which is... No. Ghostbusters! Taking over! I'm... Virgin! Posts like this made me realize I have never read anyone's fucking URL. For those of you listening, allow me to fix that for you. Four female Ghostbusters, the feminists are taking over! I'm an adult virgin! What are we gonna play through some scandal here on Tumblr? Kinda annoyed at the YouTubes having all the fun. So like how YouTube got like a four hour video by H Bomber Guy, do we get someone who does like a hundred page essay? My hobbies include knowing and being right. You would not believe your knees if 10,000 angry bees were released in your room as you fell asleep. <laughs> hey, y'all. You know how, like, internet searches suck now? When the results are awful, full of AI, death of the internet levels are bad? Start appending date constraints to your searches, like, quote, before 2023, end quote. My results have gone from 90% AI bullshit to 60% usable, which frankly at this point is a huge improvement. Hey, what if we had a plagiarism scandal here on Tumblr? Kind of annoyed at the YouTube he's having all the fun. You can't do this to my post. All right, here's today's controversial post. A good amount of you on here will be like, English was my favorite subject, and then reblog posts like, here's why sex scenes can't have symbolism and stop consuming media with toxic characters. Like, okay, so what were you doing in your English class then? Cause it apparently wasn't learning or analyzing. I'm pretty sure it was doodling pictures of eyes. You have no idea how much it annoys me that the idea of creating a terrible character means you're in support of those decisions. No, this is writing an antagonist or a character that gives you motivation to support the protagonist in their cause to do the things. Ayo, fuck personality tests. Reblog this with the position you sleep in and how you like your eggs cooked. People reblogging this with on my back and hard boiled are to be feared. I'm just gonna say right now, side sleeper and scrambled. Holy hell. My upcoming fanfic already reached 5k words and it's not even close to finished. This was supposed to be a one shot. One time one of my teachers referred to me by my Discord name. Jesus Christ, okay, fuck whatever I was talking about. Your thing is a hundred times worse. Anyone else feel like God is just toying with you however he pleases? 
He thinks he's so funny. Well, I'm about to be hilarious. If you're familiar with the Oath of Love Paladin, you luckily know that their oath is, as do I, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, and never tell a lie and hurt you. Hey, wait a minute! The way The Hobbit is written is so interesting because it's obviously a storytelling style while also being an account of what Bilbo wrote down himself in his red book. So it's just a full-on unreliable narrator, because the narrator can be either the nebulous author translator or Bilbo's sneaky little lies. So basically anything and nothing in The Hobbit could have happened and leaves so much room for fan authors I'm going crazy over it. And narrator-wise, reading The Hobbit, there's so many little notes about how Bilbo thinks he's a great deal more eloquent than he is. It's, it's, but who wrote that? What is the storyteller? Is it self-deprecation on Bilbo's part? Which parts of the story did he over or undersell? How truthful is anything in it? What did he leave out? Oh my god, is this, is this how the movie series can get away with so many creative liberties?